hi guys um this is emily here i don't know why the freaking screen is black um we will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of ostagar on the edges of the Korkari wilds the Tevinter imperium built ostagar long ago to prevent the wilders from invading Hold on, let me try to fix it. Oh, there we go, it's fixed. Even if we face a different foe within that forest, the King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan! King Kaelan, I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, your majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, your majesty. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce's youngest, are you not? I don't think we've ever actually met. Okay, so, sorry, some things, I made some changes to my character because I didn't like the other one, so we're still at the same spot and everything, everything still still happened the same as it did in the last, last Let's Play, only I figured out how to make this full screen, and I changed her name to my name and tried to make her look a little bit like me. Your brother has already arrived with High Ever's men, but we are still awaiting your father. Dead? What do you mean? Duncan? Do you know anything about this? Terran Kuzland and his wife are dead, Your Majesty. Versus Karl the tattoo. Has shown I do have a, a tattoo, just not on and my And overtaken High Ever Castle. Had we not escaped, he would have killed us and told you any story he wished. I can scarcely believe it. Well, how could he think he could get away with such treachery? As soon as we are done here, I will turn my army north and bring How to justice. You have my word. He will hang. I know that will not bring your family back, but how will not profit from this? No doubt you wish to see your brother. Unfortunately, he and his men are scouting in the wilds. Of that, I have no doubt. You will see him again once the battle is over, I am certain. I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. All I can suggest is that you vent your grief against the Darkspawn for the time being. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Logain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. Overconfident, some would say. Right, Duncan? <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm not certain the blight can be ended quite as quickly as you might wish. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of dark spawn on the field. <laughs> We've seen Excuse no me. sign of an arch demon. Disappointed, your majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. You know, a king riding with the fabled grey wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. You're such a child. I must go before Logain sends out a There's party. no glory. Farewell. A bloodshed. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. The cat's on my lap. And I'm waking healing her hair. Stop! Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an arch demon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feelings. Yes, we should proceed with the ritual. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Your hound can stay with me while I attend to some business. The Grey Warden tent is on the other... 
Okay, so now this is Ostagar. So cool. Oh, Ostagar. There's a cat here on my keyboard now. Way to go, kitty. So, um, the other thing that changed about this is not only did I change my character, but I also, like, I stuck it on Nightmare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I was getting too bored on the other one. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I was getting a little bored on the other one. Okay. Let's go do a little bit of release. Okay. Move up those ones over there where they belong. Hey, you must be the Grey Warden recruit the Duncan boy. <laughs> So they're going. Those are the mages that are going to the Fade. Um, the Fade's like a dreamland. It's like the border between spirit and real world. And we kind of. Greetings, young lady. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Win, one of the mages summoned by the king. Well met. And good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? I know the Fade is where you go when you dream. Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. The Black City is, you know, um... It's like they're heaven. Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. So there's there's a little lore for you guys. It may be allegory meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Alright. So a wise attitude. But I'm certain don't Okay, so there's Win. And So any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head Have you seen an elf running about? Young were blasted. We're no. Pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours. Oh, I'm sure you have better things to do than run errands. I also have some, uh... Let me know. Okay, so now I'm just gonna sell. You'll see me doing a lot throughout the game. It just, like, it frees up your inventory. I sell everything that I can get my hands on that I don't need. Um... For example, you'll see me when I kill wolves, I'll keep all but one. I'll sell all but one of the pelts. Um, as for why, you'll you'll know. Like once we get to that point in the game, you'll know. My advice to you is if you ever play this game, um you know, keep a wolf pelt for at least once until you reach a certain point in the game. I don't know why this this keeps coming with me. Uh, this comes with me. I don't know why these two were with me when I came on the game, but that's just kind of weird. Knife is bleeding. Um, Hello again. Since it's on is Nightmare, something you need? you're gonna see Some what I do, which is I buy a hell of a lot of health potions because you can never have too many health potions. You can never have too many injury kits. You can you never need? have too many. Shoot, I didn't need to do that. You can never have Hello too again. many. Is there something you need? Uh, too much. So long as you keep it supplies. Quiet when it comes to health and stuff. Oh, he doesn't have any other potions in the other goods? That's just stupid. That sucks. Oh, 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 maybe he does. Okay. I was looking at... I just realized I sold my... I sold my health potions. 
Dang it. It is really Hello again. Here, is there something like... you need? So, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend 10 silver. Because I want those health potions. And now I only have 32 silver left. So what you see is, you know, 99 coppers equal 1 silver. 99 silver equal 1 sovereign. Sovereign is the highest pay thing in the entire game. Um, yeah. So we're going to go over here. Up here there is a guy that you can talk to. And, um... In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. May you find favor huh. eyes. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. No. They put someone like me in a cage until someone important has time to decide what to do with me. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up. I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing the man. I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you going to think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. <laughs> oh, that's sweet of you, dearie. How about you marry me instead? At least I could get a kiss before they hang me. And it's not as if they're wrong. I probably would have deserted later. Hope that doesn't spoil your opinion of me. I'm still hungry enough to eat my shoe, because you might want something I don't need. Them circle wizards got a chest they keep things in. Magical things. And I stole the key. That's why I'm here. I got one of them drunk, took his key, and tried to sneak to the chest. They assumed I was deserting. I can't use it from here. But I'd trade you for some food and water. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guard. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. What a sub... Uh, anyway, it's not for me to say. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm gonna say it was you. So? Brought me some food, have you? I'm so much obliged. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. And, as I mentioned, here's the key. Use it in good health, huh? All right. It is really raining. I mean, y'all probably can't hear it, but it's coming down out there. We stand. All right. So, do, do. which way? Okay, go up here. So you're the Grey Warden. He talked about Alistair. Um, he's important. Why do I still have my weapon slot? There he is. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the Revered Mother, Sir Mage. She the desires Revered your Mother presence. is like the Pope. What her really? <laughs> desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, well, I might I add. guess she's like the priest, the High Priestess. Tell her I will not be her. Yes, I was. Your glib. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The grumpy one. <laughs> Enough. I will sp You know, one good thing about the blight is how it brings people together. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. He's such a weirdo. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another... And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Right, that was the name. You know, it just occurred to me that there have never been many women in the Grey Wardens. I wonder why... True, but if you're here, what does that make you... 
out. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine you do. If you haven't. Cool. Specialty. Okay, like I just picked up some ice arrows. Specialty arrows, like, um, ice and fire arrows and elf flight arrows, uh, are a really. They go for high prices on the quartermaster. So this is King Kalen's tent. So just to, you know, get you guys some lore, I'm gonna talk Greetings. to this dude. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. I suppose I do. Though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. Terran Logain sees the King whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles. But the King just waves him off. The King wants to end the Blight with a single huge battle the Bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? That's how the Terran feels. He'll do what the King wants in the end, though. The King thought it was funny that Terran called him reckless, and they fought about the Queen. She's the Terran's daughter. He wasn't happy about something she did or the King did, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. As you wish. So, there's the King, and then this is Terran Logain, the guy that they were just talking about. This is his tape. You approach the tent of Terran Logain. State your business. Notice how brash he is compared to how nice the King's guard. How can you not know of Logain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Logain, you can bet the King wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. I suppose, as long as we talk quietly. He and the King have been arguing for days. The Terran's known the King since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Terran speaks his mind, and the King yells right back. Personally, I think the King should do what Terran Logang tells him. Without the Terran, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. Hmm. I suppose you have a message for him. Hold on, then. So, we get to meet Terran Logang. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. His Majesty could not contain his excitement after your meeting. How could I not hear about you? Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? Marek respected the Grey Wardens. They have an honored place in the hearts of our people. But Marek would have understood that it takes more than legends to win a battle. That's not an argument I'll repeat here. You look familiar. Have I seen you at the lands meet? The king told me of his promise. I'm certain he has every intention of following it through. I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? If Kalen has his way, you will. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. He is Marek's son, and the leader of my beloved Ferelden, and a very young man. I try to keep that in mind, as should you. So, that's Logan and all his incredible dickness. Um, before we leave, I'm just gonna go over here and sell some more stuff. Hello again. Is there something you need? Well, let me know what you'd like. Did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. 
Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Duncan. I'll go collect who we're missing. This is Sir Jory, a knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? And this here is Davith, a fellow from Denerim. In other words, he was a cop purse. lady. And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. Yet, yeah, Smokey the new girl. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. Finally, some action. <laughs> Without a doubt. Darkspawn aren't renowned for their willingness to offer up their blood. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. The scrolls contain treaties promising support. Treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Yeah, alright, so. Now we go to the wilds. Renowned for cannibals and witches. How fun. I'm just gonna skip the dialogue with this guard. It's just not really anything important. I'm told you so keep in mind, this is on nightmares. So it's gonna go a little bit slower than normal. Well, ahead. <laughs> So he's dying. Who is that? Grey Wardens? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Oh. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. There are darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking in- How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. That's true. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. That is reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. Cool. All right, let's go. Cool. 
So here's part of the things of being a rogue. You always want to go back. So I'm sitting Davith and I in the backstab position. Alistair and Jory, since they're warriors, are going to attack over here. Front lines. And I'm going to go back over here. here. You see, now. Out of the thick of the battle, and well, I shall do it. You know, out of the thick of the battle, rain, kind of fight from a distance. Because the cloth game doesn't really do much. I shall do it. Okay, so now. One vial of dark spawn. Dark Sun Blood. And some gold. Okay, so now you see injuries. Injuries are stuff like wrenched, wrenched limb, penalty to attack speed, uh, cracked skull, penalty to cunning, and gaping wound, penalty to maximum wealth. So, what you want to do when you have injuries is you want to remove them using an injury kit. Um, looks like I only have one, though, so we're kind of fucked. That's okay. She's in on my warrior because he's the most valuable. Duh, this is kind of useless. Okay, so. That flower, white with a red scent, it probably is the kennel at any rate. So he, the kennel master basically was offering an award to, for that flower to make a paste that he can use for his lovely little Look there. thingies. Poor slobs. That just seems so excessive. Ha, ha, <laughs> So I got a studded helmet, which is probably going to make my character look ridiculous, but that's okay. Oh. Yep, knew it. Make her look stupid. Shield of High Ever. Great Iron Tier 2. Okay, this one has plus 4 attack, so that's better than his Templar Shield. So cool. Okay. Where the shit? Okay. We're dead before we even get there. That's cool. Okay, so up here we have wolves. It's like they've killed all the freaking birds. Which makes our job easier. Got all the vials of darkspawn that we need. Um, 
dark spot bot that we need. I this dude, he has his missionary stuff that gives you can give it to a girl later in the game. So then we go down here. I hear dark spawn, so I must be going the right way. Freaking knew it. There's only one. That's really weird. Okay, that's less weird. Sweet decapitation. I don't know if you guys just saw that, but that was a sweet decapitation done by Alistair there. Um. So you want to follow these macabre looking things, cause like the grosser the things, the gorier the stuff, the more the dark spawn. It's, yeah. See this little dude? He sucks. He's a pain in the butt to kill. So. Oh shit! Okay, everybody get a health potion. Everybody get a health potion. Everybody get a health potion. Also, if you never found, if you didn't find that um, flower back there, there's countless other places you can find it in the wild. It's not really rare. See, there's one there, there's one there, there's one over there. So they're everywhere, quite frankly. Okay. Why did I just do that? That wasn't smart. That was really not that smart. If Alistair dies, it's when we know we're screwed. So, yeah, I'm gonna play you as him for like a bit. Get out of the thick of battle. Oh shit. Alright. I 
Well, Alistair's the only one alive. something in here that I can use. Oh, shit. And of course there's nothing. I'm dead. Oh my god! Yes! Whoa! Thank god! That was terrible! Holy shit! That sucked! Okay. See, this is why I like it better than normal, because it gets me all, all worried and crap. <laughs> Nothing like a brush with death to make you not like death much. Nothing like a brush with death to make you not like death much. That's, that's true. Okay. Well, well. What have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder, come into these darkspawn-filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? I love her armor. For ropes, I should say. What say you? Hmm? Scavenger or intruder? I. It is a tower no longer. The wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go? I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping is bad. <laughs> She's a witch of the wild, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there. Women do not frighten like little boys. Tell me your name, and I shall tell you my... I am Emily. Pleasure to meet you. Well, that is a proper civil greeting, even here in the wilds. You may call me Morrigan. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Twas my mother, in fact. Hmm. There is a sensible request. <laughs> I like you. I'd be careful. First it's, I like you. But then zap, frog time. <laughs> it's all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. First it's, be careful, first it's, I like you. Then it's zap, frog time. <laughs> Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. 
Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dallas. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Does your woman's mind give you a different viewpoint? Or do you believe as these boys do? A statement that possesses more wisdom than it implies. Be always aware. Or is it oblivious? I can never remember. So much about you is uncertain, and yet I believe. Do I? Why, it seems I do. So this is a dreaded Witch of the Wilds. Witch of the Wilds, huh? Morrigan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True. They came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Such manners. Always in the last place you look. Like stockings. Oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. Cool. So, there we go. We are not out of the wilds and back in camp. And what I am going to do now is, um, well, spoiler alert. Everybody but you and Alistair. I mean, like, Jory and Davith don't really live. So, what I do, the people that I know don't live, I take their armor <laughs> so that I can sell it. <laughs> Isn't that nice of me? Okay. Apologies that you have to stare at these guys and their G-strings. I wonder, can I wear their chainmail? I can't take 16 strength, that sucks. Alright, that's okay. What I do now... This. Greetings. Are you one of the great? I don't know for sure that the flower will aid my poor. Here. Okay. Hello again. Is there something you need? Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is. Sell these fire bolts. Sell these fire arrows. Sell this darkspawn staff, because I don't really need it. See why I sell it? Look how much gold I'm up to. Sell. Keep. Sell. 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 Keep. Sell. 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 Sell all but one buy that backpack because it, it enhances your inventory space, buy all these lesser health potions, buy the injury kits, go to his other goods. Hello again, is there something you so long as you keep it quiet? And now here's the fun part, buy these health potions. this point. Crafting materials. 
Huh, that sucks. Oh, wait, he has a Bari Crunch. Buy that. Buy that. Okay. See if I can make any of the poisons. Dang it! I need flask. I need flask. That sucks. Alright, so. Then level up. I'm gonna get that 16 strength just so I can wear that stinking armor. And. Do I want improved tools or do I want that? Mm, let's go improve tools. Go over here and see, there's no tranquil here anymore, so I can open that chest that with the key that you got from the server. And here's all this lovely stuff. So then you can go back over here and sell whatever you don't need out of that, which is basically you don't, unless you're a mage. Hello again. Is there something you, you need? You don't need lyrium potions. Some, Those so long just as like you keep it replenish quiet. your mana, um, your magic energy. Um, so I sell this, and I sell. That's it. That's it. So then you go over to Duncan, which if you fun fact, if you have the Xbox version or the PS3 version, you can sit here and you can sit here with the the vials of Dark Spawn Blood and just turn the quest in over and over until you're level 20. But that doesn't work. So you return from the sucks. vials. Have you been successful? So we have. Good. I've had the Circle Mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. Now will you tell us what this ritual's about? I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now, rather than later. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. Would you have come if they'd warned you? May Including sac- I'd sacrifice a lot There's more- There's a wife and child with a blind. child on the way in however. So, yeah. You saw those darkspawn tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I am- Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the Darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when we speak only a few words prior to the joining. But these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith. So basically we're drinking uh, dark spawn blood. Thing. There's no. no turning back. You're you in the too much. now. There is no glory in this. I am sorry. But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. From 
this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? Did you have dreams? Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the King. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna take that enchanted dagger. It's so much better than the other dagger that I have. What just happened to it? There we go. So now I'm in the train mail, yay! I leveled up, so. Constitution coming. No receipt. Oh, okay, I don't have anything. That's cool. Just quit. play. Again, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Kaelin. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the lady from High Ever I met earlier? I understand congratulations are in order. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kalen. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then... You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. Alright, drive safe! Love you! Okay. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Logan. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we Circle of Magi... We will not trust any lives to your spells, Mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Logain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. 
the Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Terran Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch just in case, right? That is not your choice. If King Caelan wishes Grey Wardens to ensure the beacon is lit, then Grey Wardens will be there. We must do whatever it takes to destroy the Darkspawn, exciting or no. I get it, I get it. Just so you know, if the King ever asks me to put on a dress and dance the Remigold, I'm drawing the line. Darkspawn. <laughs> I think I'd like to see that. For you, maybe. But it has to be a pretty dress. Mm. Like, I don't the tower is on for the this. other side of the gorge from the king's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember. You are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan. May the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. Cool. Alright, so that's it for this Let's Play. In the next Let's Play, we will, doing, we will be doing the lovely um, Battle of Ostagar. The turning point in the game.